Welcome to the story of liberty. It was on this day in 1970, April 11th, 1970, that the Apollo 13, the seventh man mission in the American Apollo space program, and the third mission intended to land on the moon, launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. But the lunar landing was aborted when a huge problem occurred. An oxygen tank exploded two days later. It crippled the service module upon which the command module depended. The crew worked very hard. Despite great hardship caused by limited power, loss of cabin heat, the shortage of potable water, and the critical need to jury rig the carbon dioxide removal system, the crew returned safely to Earth on April 17th. I'll never forget being in school, and we prayed back then in school in 1970, and the teacher prayed. After we heard those words, Houston, we have a problem. Prayer services were held all around the world at St. Peter's Basilica by the Pope himself. At the Wailing Wall in Jerusalem, they prayed. Our president at the time, Richard Nixon, publicly observed the National Day of Prayer for the Apollo 13 astronauts. It's amazing what occurred here and everyone involved knew it was a miracle. It was the providence of God that brought them home. Two years later in 1972, they went for the moon again, Charles Duke and John Young. They explored the moon's surface on the Apollo 16 mission. And Charles Duke spoke of his experience at a prayer rally in San Antonio, Texas one day, and he said this. He said, I used to say I could live 10,000 years and never have an experience as thrilling as walking on the moon. But the excitement and satisfaction of that walk doesn't begin to compare with my walk with Jesus, a walk that lasts forever.